So we're going to show a cherry eye repair. I use four up by curl for these. And it's always really helpful to have a nice pair of iris scissors as well. So we're gonna do a pocket technique. You wanna make an incision on either side of the cherry eye through the top layer. And then you take your iris scissors to bluntly dissect under that pocket just to give you some uh, depth to your pocket. And then we do that on the other side. Again, bluntly dissecting so that you can get your pocket. I'm just going to trim a little bit of that cartilage that's poking up. Now the real trick with these guys is making sure you have a perfectly buried knot. If your knot is not buried, it's going to rub on that cornea and you're going to set yourself up for corneal ulcers. So remember when you're burying your knot, you're going to start deep to superficial and then on the other side. We go superficial to deep. And then we tie our knot. I do apologize that this is white suture. I really hope you can see everything. Mm -hmm. All right. We want to cut that knot really short to help it bury. And now we're just going to run down our whole pocket, the length of our pocket, with a simple continuous. And as you start creating your pocket, the um, prolapse gland is going to tuck right in on its own. It also helps to have some good eyelid retractors to keep things out of the way if you don't have them. I uh, tend to just use some stay sutures on each lid to kind of uh, hold them out of the way. And then you also want to plan ahead for when you're going to bury your knot at the end. Still got a little ways. And then when you bury your knot at the end, you need to remember that you need all pieces of it to be um, deep. Otherwise, you're not going to bury. So one more, I think. So this strand is deep, and now this strand is deep. So both ends of this loop are deep, and then I'm going to come back around and 
get one more that comes out really close to that that I can tie together. So now I've got three strands of deep suture that I'm going to tie together at the end. Four or five throws. Keep that knot small. And then you come as close to that knot as possible to sink it. 